Okay, so this is the exhaust manifold from my 2005 Golf TDI. Um, I purchased a new CHRA turbo insert, and so before I installed it, I wanted to clean up the, the exhaust manifold side of this because it was just completely covered in soot. It was really quite, quite full of diesel boogers. So I'm going to reinstall the VNT assembly. I'm having a bit of difficulty, so let me... Uh, pop this in using some drill bits as guide pins. These here, these little donuts are the spacers that hold the VNT assembly just off of the face of the exhaust manifold. This is uh, the VNT assembly here. These are the vanes that rotate just so. Um, and then I can remove the spacers. And then these are three Torx T20 screws. And I'll just give these a bit of thread to just keep it from going anywhere. And then here's the control ring, so let me just pop this on here as quickly as I can. Two, boing, boing, boing. This can be a bit fiddly, but it's really not very hard once you've done it a thousand times like I have. Okay, so this sort of behaves like it should. So you can see that if I move the control ring back and forth, you can see the, the tips of the VNT, uh, or the tips of the veins can move freely, but they should actually slide slightly further into this open cavity. Um, and they don't. Uh, so it feels like this whole VNT assembly wants to sit just higher than it does, but doesn't actually. So here's what happens. If I snug these screws just slightly, with no actual clamping pressure, just enough to allow them to stop naturally. Like so, the control ring now doesn't move at all. So, I'm not sure if it's that one of the spacers, the little donuts, I don't know if they're too short, although I pulled out my micrometer and they're all the same size. Um, Maybe there's a ring up here that I'm not quite, you know, that I'm missing somehow, but I haven't seen in any of the diagrams. And I think that the problem pretty clearly is that the very tips of these are riding on top of this metal surface on this flange. So maybe there's just another part that I'm not seeing here, but either way, they're supposed to spin freely. So to my feeble, frail mind. Perhaps uh, someone can illuminate me on on exactly how this is uh, supposed to assemble, because clearly I don't have it right. Okay, thanks.